Hello fellow Spudley Kinses, and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with Logan Stone. You can see since last episode I put some new furniture in, I put the, I think it's a popsicle freezer, I think that's what this is called. I've sorted all my stuff, I've got a little bag for cards, I've got my one for books, I've got my shelf for non-perishables, I've got one that I've, I've renamed a backpack farming, one for medical, so all my medical stuff's in there, and yeah, I've got, um cooking one next to our stove so yeah it, it's coming along i've got everything pretty much sorted our potatoes are actually harvestable so if you have a look at them this is blooming potatoes now although they're doing really well i want to wait till they get to seed bearing which will probably be at least a couple of days off that so i'm just going to leave that for the time being but what i'm going to want to do is i'm going to want to grab some non-perishables because we're going to go on a little adventure again i'm going to go up to the petrol station just up the road and I'm going to try and clear as much of that as possible so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get in here and we're going to drive basically let's go I do have another can of gas on me just in case so that's uh let's go raid this petrol station see what we can get see what goodies are in store for us do I park straight up there or do I take them out bit a bit maybe what I'll do is I'll uh, take these ones out first that might be the best way to go about it There's quite a few zombies, so I want to do it a bit at a time, really. Actually, they, they're not bothering me, so I'm just going to keep going. There's a key for that car there. Did you notice that? Oh, there's a lot of zombies. Okay, well, let's take these ones out. You have a cowboy hat. I want your hat. There we go, that's what my trusty lead pipe is all about. <laughs> that was a that was actually a really good map. We got a Riverside map. Oh, that's good. I've been waiting for one of them. All right, let's take another digital watch. Oh, go. Need to learn to shift scroll. I keep forgetting that. Uh, apologies that I keep forgetting that. Where's that cowboy hat? There it is. Oh, I, I, I want that cowboy hat. Right, okay. There is a zombie there, so I'll try and take him out and go through the back, I think. Well, it does sound like there's a zombie actually in there. There's a lollipop in the dumpster. Got some garbage bags. Let's, let's, uh, let's open the hornet's nest and let them out. It's locked. Okay, I won't let them out. <laughs> oh well, that doesn't matter. Right, that's... Uh, I need to crouch. I need to keep forgetting to crouch. That's what's winding up all the zombies when I'm running around. I need to learn to keep crouching. I just keep forgetting. Right. Get in the car. Anything in here? Headphones. Cool. All right. Is there any gas in this? No. Bit of a shame. Oh well. Let's take you out. You look like a chef. You wearing an apron. You are. Uh, did you have anything on you? Just an apron. And is that a chef's hat? It is a chef's hat. I'm gonna take the chef's hat for cooking. Because when when am I gonna get another chance to find a chef's hat? <laughs> Right, I think we finally cleared it to an extent that we can actually use this place. So that's a quick scout out in here. Right, oh, there's a lot of zombies. Okay, that's um, through the broken glass. And hopefully we can encourage some to come through there. They're just going in. Now I need you to come out. Come on. No, why aren't you... I don't know why they weren't attacking them. Oh, God. Okay, no. Don't do that. What is going on with my character? <laughs> that was a bit weird. I don't know what happened with the controls then. It wasn't working properly. Okay, that was a uh, that was terrifying. <laughs> oh, and they knocked my hard hat off. Bloody and wet now. Great, thank you, zombies. Oh, well, they're all coming out now. Right, so I've got uh, five to deal with. Oh, that should be fine. Right, that's them taken care of. They did knock down the door, so let's see who is left in here. 
There's someone in here. No one in here. They must be out the back. Or not. Where where else could they be? They must be in the storage storage room. Oh, let's take them out. Right. Okay. Ready? There we go. Got them. Okay. Right. Let's just have a little scout about. Let's take what we can. Gas cans are useful. I might actually leave the gas can here. Let's chuck it on the floor. Because when I can activate the generators, I'm going to need gas here to keep the generators running, keep the petrol station running. So having spare gas here is, is incredibly useful. Same with the gas cans. Car battery charger is amazing. Taking that. Oh, that's a, that's a game changer. It means I can charge all my car batteries and not have to worry about it anymore. Propane tank? Sure, why not? There is an arcade machine. How much, How heavy is the arcade machine? Too heavy. Um, can I put all this in my backpack? There we go. I can take it. <laughs> I've got an arcade machine. My, my life goals are complete. Um, right, I'm going to want to also take this meat patty, I think. Chuck that in there. Let's go out the back quickly. I know I'm I know I'm starving and I'm very, very, very overcome. Let's just check out back here. There's another propane tank. Is that an, is that a fourth propane tank? Yes it is. Okay. I think what I'm gonna want to do to it is I'm gonna want to carry this in my hands, just because that saves me a little bit of carry capacity. Still can't run, but I'm exhausted. Hopefully I can at least make it to the car now. I can hear zombies, I think. Slightly terrify me because, oh god, it's there. There we go. Let's just um stand on her. I know we're tired, but come on, stamping on a zombie's head for this long should eventually kill it. Thank you. I need that neon open sign. <laughs> to add to my collection of random crap that I've got going on. Oh, I need electrical one. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I have to come back for you at some other point. Right. Well, fairly successful trip then. Got everything we need. Got an arcade machine, and I think that's to us, that's enough. <laughs> that's all. That I've. Uh, it's a successful episode, just getting an arcade machine, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Right, let's get this inside, set it all up, and see what it looks like. We are running out of space. That's the only thing. <laughs> We've um, we're pretty much at capacity for stuff now. I don't know what to do with this arcade machine. Might have to chuck it in a shelf, which seems sacrilege, but um. Not like we've got much storage space at the moment. Until I find a sledgehammer, I'm a bit stuck for um, for that sort of stuff. I think what I'm going to do is go to sleep. And then in the morning, we're going to make our way across to town. Are there any books I can read while I'm just waiting? I think there's a couple, like, farming I've got that I could read. Yeah, we'll read we'll read the farming one while we're waiting for the morning. And We're a slow reader, so it's going to take a bloody forever to get there, but... We can at least read part of it before the morning. <gasps> oh no! The power finally went off. Oh dear. The power's gone. Oh, oh no. Right, that's it now. We don't have access to a generator, so... We're, um, we're a bit stuck. We've got so many generators, but no way of actually doing anything with them. So, um... Okay, I wasn't actually expecting to deal with that today, but... I suppose needs must. Um, let us take the carrots and the corn and the bacon and the eggs. We're going to just start a cooking process, I think now, because we kind of have to because we've got um, <laughs> yeah, we've got no way to contain this all. Milk, we wouldn't use milk anyway because we uh, we need it for mildew spray and stuff later on. So uh, that's not too bad. Um, we're going to want to add some fuel, I think. Uh, what have we got for fuel? I know we've got loads of wood scattered around the place. Right, give me a sec. I'll go get some. I'll go get some wood, and we'll cook some stuff up. All right? Does that mean the water's gone off as well? I don't think it has. No, the water's still on. Just the electricity's gone. Okay. Well, um, that's a bit of a bummer, but it's not the end of the world. To be honest, it's it's fine. We can easily cope without electricity. We do have a lots of perishables, so it's not like we're going to go hungry anytime soon. Right, so it is a good opportunity, though, for me to try out our little wood stove. So, we've got all the cooking stuff next to it. Do I not have a frying pan? I left one there, and I don't actually have one. Oh, that's a... Mmm. Mmm-mmm-mmm. Okay. Um... 
Oh, we've got all this water anyway, so let's, uh, let's take all this. Create stew, create soup, corn soup. That might be quite fun. Uh, yeah, let's create some corn, let's create some corn soup. Let's just put the eggs back in the carton. Soup, add random vegetables, add pepper. This is what cooking's all about. Let's add some salt. Uh, we'll add the carrots as well, why not? Let's just, uh, add the carrots. Add random vegetable. Uh, can we add anything else to this soup? No. Okay, well, let's chuck this in here as well, then. Chuck that as well, so we've got some water cooking up, just in case the water goes off when we come back. Um, eggs. Eggs are perishable, but I think they take a while, so I'm going to chuck them in there as well. Right, so let's add some scrap wood to this. Just a couple. That's, um, fireplace info is what we, we can see. So, one hour and 24 minutes left, if unlit. Let's grab some strips. I think that's all we need. We need just a couple of strips, and I think we can light it from them. Yeah, ripped sheets and a lighter. There we go. Oh, and as you can see, it's lit up everything. Great. Let's just watch it cook. Cooked. There we go. Let's get bacon strips. Got some bacon strips. Uh, come on. Hot. Oh, the hot dog's already. Uh, let's just eat the hot dog. It's the last hot dog he's ever going to eat. So let's just make it. Let's make it worth it. There we go. We've got a meat patty. Take that out, and we've got freshly cooked soup. Excellent. Right. That's uh. That's all good. So that's uh, let's go back in here and we can make some bowls of soup now. Make two bowls of soup because we've got some bowls in the in the uh, in the shelf. Lovely. So now we've got an empty cooking pot. Don't need that anymore. We go back in there. Got some bacon strips. Uh, cooked boredom and unhappiness. Get bacon bits. Okay. What what do I do with ba bacon bits? Oh, they're rotten now. They weren't rotten before. Well, that's not fair. Oh, well, they can just go outside, I guess. <laughs> um, actually, no, let's, let's pick, them, pick all this back up, because we can cook with rotten stuff in in the future, but not right now. Uh, let's just chuck it in here, I guess. Chuck that on the floor. Chuck that on the floor. We'll eat the meat patty. Apparently it makes unhappiness too. I don't see... I would be quite happy to eat a meat patty, but... And he's, and he's full to bursting after eating that, so... I don't think you can be that unhappy doing that. But we've got some, we got some soup, and that actually relieves some unhappiness and some boredom. So we're fit to bursting, so that's all good, because it's freshly cooked. So we're actually, we're actually in a good position now. We've got, we've got pretty much everything. So let's go pump up our tires on our car, and let's start our little excursion into town. Before anything else, let's try, let's have a look at our condition of our car, because I didn't actually do that last episode, and I feel a bit bad for not doing it. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, it's not as good as I thought it would be. Uh, gas tank's 44%. Yeah, I thought it was going to be below 50% from the way it was leaking fuel. Um, what are our tyre pressure like? Okay, our tyres aren't great either. We're going to want to inflate that one. We're going to want to inflate... Well, let's just inflate all of them. Um, the more inflated they are, the better they will... Um, the better they'll run, the, least, the less damage they'll take when driving, so you want to just make sure they're all inflated as much as possible. There we go. Okay, we're all good. Probably the best I can do, really. Let's go into town. Let's go into town. Do, 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 do. Let's go into town. Not run over any zombies. That wouldn't be a good start to the trip. A shame I haven't found a, to found a tow bar or anything, because that would um that would make it a lot easier to tow those trailers. I think you can just use rope. Although, I haven't really used the trailer mechanic in vanilla Project Zomboid at all, I don't think. So, um, yeah. It's, I'm, I'm not sure if I really want to try that, first of all. There are some farms up here that I could loot. I'll do that another time, because I don't know how much there's actually going to be up there. There'll probably be lots of seeds and stuff. Ah! Oh, that was... That was dumb. That was really dumb. I didn't do that. No one saw that. <laughs> Lots of zombies there, and here we are. So there's a little mechanics bit up here. Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies. Jesus. Okay, there's a bar to the right here as well that I'm interested in, because there'll be quite a lot of stuff there. What I do want to do, though, if I can... Oh, there's a, some trailers there. That'd be nice. There's a burger place just up here. 
And then, I believe, just to the right of it, there's the police station. I'm thinking if I go around the back... I know this is going to wear the tyres, but I would, um... I think I'd rather avoid the zombies if I'm going to go into the police station. This is one of the places I want to hit up, first of all. Oh, ambulance. Okay. I can hear a zombie in there. Are there any in the front? We're actually fine. Oh god. Okay, there's a lot of them walking across. Okay, I don't seem to have my lead pipe. Okay, let's let's lead them let's lead them away from the other zombies. Okay, did anyone hear me? No, they didn't. And it looked like that there is a shotgun on that one and a pistol. Anything in the other one? No, okay. I'll go from the front door. It looks like there's a sheriff in there. Alright, let's uh, go through the window. You've got a mighty fine hat, sir. I, I want your hat. You've got a nightstick as well? I will take that. And a bulletproof vest? I will also take that. And you've got lots of stuff. I'm just going to take all your stuff. Police trooper hat. Okay, why not? <laughs> right, so we're in the police station. So this should have lots and lots of lovely nice things in it for me to uh for me to scavenge, which will be nice. Apparently I'm still unhappy despite everything, so let's just drink some more soup. No longer unhappy. Excellent. Okay. Let's assemble this door. We did actually bring the hammer this time, so. Alright, got lots of rounds though. Grab those rounds. Can hear zombies, which is disconcerting. Close that door. I right, what have we got? Ooh, these are... What is this? Oh, I think this is from um, Britta's armour. So we've got chest rig, helmet visor. What does this even do? Oh, it just goes over your face. Cool, okay. Scratch defence. I, I don't honestly know what any of this does. Chest rig. Where? This is it's another container that can hold stuff. <gasps> That's cool. Right, let's take whatever these are. I don't know what these are, but I'm sure they'll be useful, so I'll just take everything. Um, a ham radio. I've got one of them back at the base. It feels like a waste to leave it, but there is actually one. Another one. Some armor. Crash defense is actually less, but white defense significantly more. I'll take that. Wear it. Okay, so we've got some armor. So it's, it's been worth it. We've got some guns. I think it's been worth it. Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, there's another one. You have a shotgun as well. You have a bulletproof vest. Oh, so it's that armor. Okay, fine. Um, can we carry that? Yeah, we'll just take everything and put it in this new chest rig, apparently. Seems all good. Anything in here? The jail cell door. And this is just a thing. Right, okay. Well, let's, let's get some sleep. Let's uh, just sleep on this chair. That'll do. Bad quality, but it's not the end of the world. Right, guys, so it's morning. Let's go have a little look around. I think we're just going to fill up our water bottle here. Just before we go anywhere else. Lovely stuff. Right, let's go, go, go. So, ooh, I didn't notice that before. There's a key for the ambulance. Uh, be sneaky, sneaky, and grab that. Is there anything over there? There's the petrol station there in the shop just south of us. Um, grab that. If there's anything in the boot of this car. Vitamins. I will take the vitamins. Quickly see if there's anything in here. Bandage. Take that. I'll leave the other thing. Um, so yeah, we got quite a lot of stuff, actually, from that whole expedition, which is quite nice. Um, I'm slightly worried about our lead pipe nearly, n the condition's basically gone, um, so I'm going to want to find a replacement for that very, very soon. Might have to equip like the nightstick or something, that might be a way of going about doing it. 
I think let's just chuck everything else. Um, keep the hammer and the screwdriver, but everything else will probably go in the boot. Okay, can't fit everything in here. That's a shame. And then we'll put uh, everything bar them onto that. Just so we've got nice amount of weight distribution. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Excellent. Right. So, I'm thinking what we're going to want to do is I'm going to try and go down the residential area, I think, for the time being. Oh, why won't you start? Come on. There we go. Jeez, that took a long time. Oh, and we stalled already. This car, we need another car. <laughs> this car is not suitable. I might look and see if I can find something else. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to want to take a right up here at some point. There we go. And this will go slightly out of town. There's just a residential area here, which I think might be a little bit better for us. Just to stay around here and then kind of go back and forth looting back and forth through town. Uh, here we go. Okay. What we can do is if we go right up here. And that's just part right here. We'll take out all the zombies we can here. Hopefully we haven't made too much of a nuisance and noise. Oh, already broken. Great. Hopefully we can use this house to find some weapon or something. Doesn't look like we've been too noticed, which is nice. Oh, I can't get in, though. And up there directly is the hardware store and a number of other shops. Incredibly useful. Close the window, close the curtains. We're good. Okay. But we'll, we'll probably use this little house as a little base just for the time being. Um, it's a little bit precarious, but I think I think it's all right. Um, I'm going to take those magazines, though. Oh, sounds like zombies setting off alarms already. At least that should mean... Oh, loads of sugar, Jesus. At least that should mean that the zombies are attracted to that rather than to us. Let's close the curtains so none of them see us. Yeah, it's probably a good thing that we're going to hide out here, then. Right, let's pour the bleach on the ground because we can fill them up with water. Right, doesn't sound like we're banging on the door, so I think we're safe. So I think I'm going to spend spend a little bit of time here, guys, and I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you've seen, please leave a like and subscribe. Any comments, feedback you can give me would be great. And um, yeah, I'll uh, next episode, I'm going to go to the hardware store, hopefully. I might have to make a little bit of ruckus with the car or something, drive around so the zombies get led away from that area. Hopefully can make it to the toy store as well, although it is centre of town, so I am slightly concerned about actually being able to get in there and get away. Same with the bookshop, really. But the, hopefully between those three places, we should have enough to get properly settled into our base and even start a new base. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.